Hi friends, welcome to a drop spot and welcome to the last testnet on Teiko, Hekla testnet. So to begin this interaction, I want to claim some Holesky ETH. So I visited Holesky for set.io, pasted my wallet address and then tapped on get tokens. But I kept getting an error message and actually I have tried about four other faucet as well that were not giving me test token. So I'm just going to take a shortcut, okay? So I'm going to use our chemi faucet, I'm going to claim some Sepolia ETH. So here we are, I'm going to paste my wallet address, I'm going to check that capture box and then I'm going to tap on send me ETH. Sepolia ETH is going to be deposited in your wallet almost instantly. And then I am going to head over to Orbita Finance Testnet Bridge. And I am going to bridge this Sepolia ETH over to Holesky. So I am going to tap on that sender chain ZK Sync Light. I am going to tap on that and then choose Sepolia. And on that receiver chain, I'm going to change it to Holesky. I'll enter the amount of Sepolia ETH that I want to bridge over to Holesky. Then I'll tap on send. I'll tap on confirm and send. I'll tap on confirm. This bridging only takes a few minutes to be completed and I'm going back to the home page now and if you check my balance you'll see that the funds have arrived on Holesky as you can see. Now I'm going to move over to the next step and that is to visit Teiko website. Tap on I understand. Connect wallet. You will be asked to choose a network so I'll be choosing Holesky. Tap on switch network. Now tap on that drop down and tap on horse. Then tap on mint. So we are minting horse token on Holesky. Confirm transaction in wallet. Host token minted successfully. Tap on that sidebar menu. Tap on bridge. Now I want to bridge my host token on Holesky over to Hekla. So you can see Holesky as my sender chain, her class receiver chain. Then on that drop down, I'll leave it at ETH this time. Then I'll enter the amount of Holesky ETH that I want to bridge over to Hekla. I'll tap on continue. Tap on continue again. Then tap on bridge. Tap on confirm. Bridging completed. Now on that drop down, I'm going to tap on it this time. Then I'm going to choose horse that we just minted. And then I'm going to be bridging over my 50 horse token from Holesky to Hekla. So I'll tap on continue. I'll tap on continue again and first of all I'm going to approve. 
So for my transactions to not be delayed as I previously experienced before making this video, I'm going to tap on that pen and I'm going to choose my gas fee to change my gas fee to aggressive. Approval successful, now I'm going to tap on bridge. Again, I'm going to choose my gas fee. I will change it to aggressive. Then I'll tap on confirm. Transaction completed. I'll go back to the sidebar menu. And then I'm going to tap on swap. Note that some of your transactions may be failing but I can't include every time my transaction is failing in this video because it will be too long. So if your transaction keeps failing you have to continue trying. So this time I'm going to switch back to Hekla so I'll tap on switch network. I'm going to be swapping some ETH for horse so I'm going to tap on select token then I'll search for horse if I cannot find it on the list. I'll enter the amount of ETH that I want to swap into horse. I'll tap on swap. I'll tap on confirm swap. I'll change gas fee to aggressive and then tap on confirm. While that is bending, I'm also going to swap some horse for ETH. So I will enter the amount of horse that I want to swap and then I'm going to tap on swap. I'll tap on confirm swap. I need to approve my spending cap, so I'll tap on approve. I'm going to sign so I'll tap on sign and lastly I have to confirm the transaction in my wallet and I'm going to change the gas fee again to aggressive then tap on confirm. You can see that my 10 horse have left horse I now have 40 in my balance instead of 50 so I'm going to switch over to pull stab. I'll tap on new position. So for the other token pair, I'm going to tap on select and I'm going to choose horse. If I can't find it on the list, I will search. For the feet here, I'm going to choose the third one. I'll tap on full range. And I am going to enter the amount of ETH and horse that I want to add to the liquidity pool. And I'm going to approve spending horse first. So I'll tap on approve horse. I'll tap on next and I'll tap on approve. And next I'm going to continue with the transaction but then I decided to reduce the amount of horse that I want to add so I'm changing it from 30 to 10 then I'll tap on preview I'll tap on add I'll confirm transaction in my wallet but before that I'm going to change my gas fee to aggressive then tap on confirm Transaction successful. So we are done with interactions on Taiko website and then next up we want to deploy smart contract. So I'll paste the link to third web in the browser.
I'll tap on deploy now and that is after I have already connected my wallet. And in the slot for name, I'm going to enter the name of my token that I want to deploy. My token name is TakeOdoc. You can enter any name and any symbol that you want. And in the slot for symbol, I'm going to enter TDC as an abbreviation for TakeOdoc. And I am deploying this smart contract on Teiko Hekla. And if you want, you can also choose a picture for your token, but I won't be doing that. Then I'm going to tap on deploy now. So I'll confirm this in my wallet and I'm going to change the gas fee to aggressive again. Then I'll tap on confirm. Note that this stage is actually going to be long. It is going to be rolling like this for about 20 minutes before it will bring the next step. Although it may be earlier than 20 minutes in your own case. Here is the next step and that is to sign in wallet although it does not cost any gas fee. So do not press anything until it brings you here. Now on this page, I'm going to zoom in my screen. You can see head to the token tab, tap on that token tab that you see highlighted in blue. And here is my deployed smart contract. I do not have any token yet, so I'm going to tap on plus mint. And I will enter the amount of tokens that I want to mint on this smart contract. So let's say I want to mint 10,000, I'll enter 10,000, then tap on mint tokens. I'll confirm that in wallet and I'm also going to change my gas fee to aggressive. I am doing this for every transaction because I experienced a lot of delays in the past couple of days when I was trying to interact with this. Now you can see that I have now minted tokens. I now have a total supply of 10,000 TDC. Then you can choose to interact with your token in any way you want. You can drop it to multiple wallets. You can transfer it to individual wallets. You can mint more tokens or you can burn some of your tokens. But what I want to do here is to simply copy my token uh, contract address. So I'll tap on that copy icon. Then I am going back to Takeo Bridge. I'll tap on Bridge. Since I deployed this token on Hekla, I'm going to make Hekla my sender chain and Holeski my receiver chain. And on that drop down, I'm going to tap on add custom. Then I'm going to paste the contract address of my token here. Then I'm going to tap on add token. As you can see, it brings out the name TDC that I just deployed and my balance is 10,000 that I minted. I'm going to tap on add token. Now I'll choose TDC and then I'm going to indicate the amount of TDC that I want to bridge from Hekla back to Holeski. I'll tap on continue. Now you have to note that Hekla is layer 2 while Holeski is layer 1 and bridging from layer 2 over to layer 1 actually takes 24 hours. So this bridging is not something that I can complete in this video. I'm going to approve the spending of TDC and first I want to change my gas fee again to aggressive, then I'll tap on approve. Then I'm going to tap on bridge. I'll tap on confirm. And before I do that, once again, I'm going to change my gas fee to aggressive. Then I'll tap on confirm now. <laughs> so 
so like i said this transaction cannot be completed in this video so i went back to the sidebar menu then tapped on transactions and in order to be able to see this transaction i'm going to tap on that heckler that you see there and then i'm going to switch over to holesky again i'll tap on confirm and then switch to holesky in my wallet Now you can see my TDC transaction 1000 TDC to be bridged from Hekla to Oleski and it is currently processing so it won't be marked as completed until tomorrow. So let's just do something let's open our MetaMask. I'll switch my network in my wallet back to Hekla. I'll switch to the tokens tab. And then I'm going to tap on import tokens. Then I'll paste the contract address of my token that I deployed. I'll tap on next. Just the same way that you would import any token to your MetaMask. So you can see this is my token and out of the 10,000 that I minted, I have 9,000 TDC left. So what you can do here is to interact with your token. You can tap on send, paste any wallet address and then send some tokens into it and then send some back to yourself again. So that is it. That is how to interact with Teiko Hegla Testnet. I am not sure at this moment if there is a gas task, but I'm going to check for it. And if there is, I'm going to post the update about it in our Telegram channel. So if you have any questions about this video, you can drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you find any of my contents useful, then give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel and join us on Telegram. I do post some updates on our Telegram channel that do not make it to YouTube, so you don't want to miss out on any updates, so join all of these channels. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.